Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's talk about anger. I like to talk about anger. I've talked about it many times on here in different videos. I even have a whole chapter in it uh, of about anger in the latest book that I just wrote, The Art of Survival, Building Strength Through Suffering. I have a whole chapter on anger. I'm trying to get it published. I know a lot of people have been asking me for a long time, where's this book? I write books. I'm on my fourth book right now. I'm trying to get stuff published. This is not cheap, guys. But let's talk about how we express our anger. Let's talk about arguments. I was having this conversation with a buddy of mine earlier. It just came up kind of organically. Went over to his house to visit him. Hadn't seen him in a while. Just kind of driving by and was like, eh, I'm going to go check him out. Surprise, you know, that kind of thing. He's a cool dude. And he's just telling me how he needs to figure out different ways to communicate with his, with his ex. He's got kids with her. And that can be tough. Somebody that you're tied to because of your children, you're forced to deal with. And also you might hate her guts. <laughs> and she might hate yours. I just can talk for myself. I hate to tell people what they should do and how you should be and how you're supposed to be. You know, you, you choose how you want to be in life. But I've come to the conclusion that arguments are useless. There's no point to argue. When I say argue, I mean getting aggressive, being angry and yelling and trying to demand that people hear you and trying to demand that you get your point across, that you have time to tell your, point, your side of the story and you're yelling and screaming, listen to me, you're not even listening. All that shit you go through with your arguments, it's all useless. Now debates, that's different. A debate is different than an argument. You can't use those words interchangeably. There's no argument team at Harvard. There's a debate team. <laughs> they don't argue, they debate. It's different. It's not just semantics. There's rules for debates. And one of the rules is that you have to allow the other person a full chance to express their opinion before you chime in with yours. How are you going to give your opinion or debate a fact when you're not even allowing the other person to express their side? The rules of debate, it's a game. and Like a tennis match. Both people have to be there to be able to hit the ball. So rule one, rule one is don't argue. Debate. That's a much calmer, more logical, rational place to be. When you're arguing, that's emotional. And that's a huge distinction. You want to stop yelling. I think that should be rule two, stop yelling. You don't need to yell to get your point across. If you have to yell and dominate the room, you're in the wrong room or you don't really know what you're talking about. If everybody's yelling, maybe you need to just leave that energy for a while and come back when there's more rational energy in the room, more receptive energy. People can't be receptive. No one's going to listen to you if you're yelling at them. They're not hearing your words. They're just scared of you. And I've realized that with myself, that I can be very scary when I start yelling and screaming. Even grown men, big bearded, tough guys can be real scared when a guy like me starts yelling. And I realize that when I do that, I put people in a defensive mode that makes them like a scared animal. And that's not a safe place to be, especially if I have an agenda. So I think that should be another rule three is when you're debating, you always have an agenda. You have a, a point of view that you're trying to argue from. You have a place that you're trying to go and that's called the truth. I'm trying to get to the truth and we're gonna debate the truth and I'm gonna give my facts, you're gonna, you're gonna give your facts. So you want to have an agenda, and I say that because some people just get mad and they get into arguments and they don't really 
have a point? What's your fucking point? Are you simply just yelling and screaming because you want to dominate somebody and now you've just turned into a psychopath, an animal, a bully, and you just want to uh, hold somebody down until they say uncle? It's basically what you want to do? Are you really actually just looking for a, a fight? You're not looking to get your point across. So you have to stop and think, what's my motivation here? What's my agenda? What am I trying to get? Am I trying to get some behavioral change out of my son or my wife or a friend? Am I trying to get somebody to see my point, my facts, this truth? Well, you have to be clear about your goal in order to be able to get there. And if your goal is to have someone see the truth or to hear a rational point. I don't think yelling works. I don't think that kind of domination works. And you want to think about different tactics. What's a good tactic to use with this type of person? I don't like this person. This is what I was telling my buddy. You, you know, so you're dealing with a woman that you don't like. He's dealing with his ex. He doesn't like her. He's got five kids with her. And he's got to deal with her. And they're not together. Well, you, you can't just dominate her and yell and scream and scare her. You have to understand what is it, what's the point of even interacting with her today? Am I trying to get something out of her? To get her to do something or to be a certain way or to engage in some sort of aspect of parenting? What is my goal? And how many different routes can I get there? Like you're looking at a map. And sure, maybe Google Maps tells you what Google Maps thinks is the best way to go. But you might have a different way to go. I was thinking about going up to Amelia Island. That's up near the Florida Georgia line, near Jacksonville. Kind of a neat little area. I was thinking about getting a B Airbnb up, just go up there, maybe with some people. And the, the GPS, the Google Maps and all that, they have their little directions. I'm not taking that. <laughs> There's another way, I've found another way. I'm like, this is a much better way. Why would I take that? That's boring, I'm gonna take the nice way. So find the different routes, and you have to choose what route is the best path for your destination. I mean, I'm kind of over-explaining this, but this is important stuff because a lot of guys just get real angry and they fly off the handle and they spend a lot of time regretting their own behavior, spend a lot of time making relationships worse. And you want to stay mission driven. Stop yourself in the moment of passion when you're angry and remember your mission. This is why it's important for soldiers not to get too emotional in battle because an emotional soldier forgets his mission. And you want to be a tactician. There's, this might be a hard fight I have a difficult enemy I'm going up against who's very sophisticated. So what are we going to do? The goal is to live. The goal is to win this battle. So what are our options? I need my smartest warriors to sit around the table, have a powwow. You might need to, to, to stop and say, okay, I'll have this conversation after I've done a little bit more research. Some people rush into battle, I've done that. Oh, it's such a, a failure. And you feel like the argument has to happen now, the confrontation has to happen now, the fight needs to happen now. It can wait. It's usually best, I find, for me to, to wait. And I still might go into that meeting rather bad, but it's all about controlling the aggression and controlling the emotion so you can stay in that rational mind. It's food for thought. I hope somebody can marinate on this if you have these types of issues and just think about how to control your own emotional state to be the master of self, to be able to express anger in a healthy, natural way, to have boundaries and needs and to be able to tell people, I am furious, but without freaking out, without yelling and screaming and without being super scary to people that maybe you possibly love. Thanks for watching.